to call up first to the mic. He's always loyal to come and sign up, even if nobody else will, like on tonight. And that's why I applaud this man's bravery, his courage, and his talent. Y'all give it up for Aspie Chris. Thank you very much, April. And, uh, can I do two short poems tonight? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so first one is about uh, is about uh, Asper not only Asperger's syndrome and autism awareness, but autism acceptance as well. Amen. It's uh, just a uh, little. Uh, this this is about the struggle of autistic people to be accepted uh, as accepted as as to be, be accepted for, for who they are for right the now. for the gifts they can contribute to the human world so this one's called fellow aspies i call upon you my fellow aspies and my fellow aut autistics my fellow audies to awake and enlighten the human world to the long buried truth of asperger's syndrome so that people can learn some new angles on life including the substance of the doctrines of substance over style. As you sit in the dark womb of a flickering planetarium, call your true self into being. Let the Orion constellation guide you on the search through a wilderness where you dodge ironclad bigots and solve the hieroglyphics of everyday communication. Stay on the search and you'll find those who appreciate the Aspergian magic you weave. When you take them on a cruise in the lifelike waters of a 3D picture, or cut Christmas cookie dough into Kwanzaa shapes, or free us from the expensive tyranny of petroleum, or reinvent the automobile to free us from the expensive tyranny of petroleum. But whatever you do, be assured that a Spurgeon tutelage will guide you into the rebirth of day. Yeah. All right. And I'm uh, happy to do one more poem. One more poem. I'll do this one from memory. So I, uh, I was not really counting on carrying the entire open mic uh, mantle by myself, but, but hold it down, Nancy. But oh well. Yeah. There you go. Here's one for here's one for the sisters called Ebony Pearl. All right, it's the jam. <laughs> I see you march on city streets to take a stand against the hateful iron tide. A Nubian bell who calls the world awake to rise above the segregated ride. You shatter chains and break down walls of the past to strive for equal rights of sex and race and rescue us from names unfairly cast. I, I wish to give to you a calm embrace brace to emulate your beautiful, caring soul. I see you stitching quilts on midnight trails to guide your people away from foul control so they can bravely ride on freedom rails. Beyond the grasp of words, dear woman or girl, we love and cherish you, our ebony pearl. Thanks, Amaski Chris. Bye.